Last question, how do I use standalone IPV? As Dr. Evely said, the standalone IPV has come back from serum after almost three to four years. So that's the poliovac, which all of us know, which is available in the open market. So for primary series, for someone who doesn't want to go to the public health, or where you want to give them a whole IPV, but they cannot afford a DTAP-based combination. You can give IPV and DTWP separately. So you give DTWP-based pentavalent vaccine and IPV separately at 6, 10, 14 weeks. That will save a lot of money and will give full three-dose IPV to the child. You can use also for the first booster, a DTWP-based penta or a quadrivalent vaccine separately and IPV separately. Again, you save a lot of money. For the second booster, where someone cannot afford an AP-based vaccination, you can give DTWP, and I'm sure triple alone is not easily available, but if you ask serum, they will provide you. You can use the DTWP-based quadrivalent with either hep D or HIV. An extra dose will go, that doesn't matter, but you can give IPV separately, and that will again save a lot of cost. Now, for those who have taken fractional dose, I believe you should give them one or two full dose of IPV at eight weeks interval, at the earliest opportunity when the child is ready to take that. For those who have not taken any IPV because they did not go to the public health and they, they did not take the IPV based combination with you and they received only OPV with you, you should give them two doses of IPV at eight week interval again as early as possible. Now, for special situations like I also practice hematology, oncology, so you have a patient who have received chemotherapy, transplant patient, etc., where we reimmunize these patients and we give them IPV. So, in past, it was not possible to give IPV because IPV was not available and you, you couldn't use the DTAP based IPV combo beyond five years. So, now we can give them three doses of IPV and we give them at the schedule of zero, one, and six months. And, like, suppose some others want to take IPV, they can take IPV, though it's not. Uh, label use but it's not contraindicated so this is what we call off label use with a written consent and i know for the people who have to go to hajj pilgrimage they used to take they have to take a polio vaccination so they have a choice to either take opv or ipv so these are the ways which you can use a standalone ipv in your day-to-day -day practice well friends this is sad, such a sad story that two children who are affected with polio can shake hand with uh, one another but two great scientists who made two great vaccines the ipv and the opv could not ha shake hand together and use together. We always put it sal versus sabin instead of making it sal plus sabin. But I'm happy that now the world has realized the importance of IPV and uh, we would we are now using IPV and OPV together. And I'm sure a time will come when we will stop using all OPV and switch over to only IPV schedule, which will actually make the entire world polio free. <music>